Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to learn how to create this smoky eye. So if you're curious on how to create a smoky eye for the fall, this is I think kind of a neat look for you know the fall time of year. So if you're interested in seeing how to create this look, stay tuned and we'll get right to it. Hi everybody. Well, I'm going to show you how to use this hard candy and this is Green with Envy eyeshadow palette and the chocolate bar eyeshadow palette to create a smoky eye. And we're going to be doing a kind of a khaki green smoky eye. So if you're interested, stay tuned and we'll get to it. Okay, so to get started with, we're going to start on the brow bone. And for the brow bone, I am going to be using in this shade, sorry for blinding you all, but I'll hold this upside down. So if you have a matte shade like this, that's what we're going to be using on our brow bone. And I'm just going to be loading up both sides of the brush for this. And we're just going to be applying that right into brow bone area right underneath your eyebrow. God, I love this palette. I love how it smells like chocolate. I love how nice and blendable it is. This is really such a nice eyeshadow palette to have into your collection. Now, the reason that I'm adding this shade first and I'm pulling it down into my crease line is because I don't want my smoky eye to be drawn up quite this far and I want to be able to have some blendability so um, don't be afraid to really get this color right on down into your crease line okay Okay, so now we're going to be building a transition color for right into our crease line. And I recommend that you use a, uh, you know, a bit of an angled brush, somewhat fluffy because we're going to be doing a little bit of blending in this area. And um, for my transition shade for this look, I'm going to be using this toasted caramel color. I believe that's what the shade is according to the, you know, whatever. So you're just going to be loading up the tip of your brush dipping it right into that, you know, peachy orange shade. And we're going to try to follow our brow line here. So we're going to be, you know, making sure that we angle this up. And you're going to drop that right in because we're going to be um, your hoodie. If you're like me, you're a hoodie and you want to create a faux crease. And so that's what we're going to be working on right now. And in order for that to show up, it needs to be sitting right there. And so we're going to do the same thing on this other side. Again, I'm matching it up to my brow. And now I'm patting that into the crease line area. Okay. And right into the socket line also. start to blend this in between your, into your to create a transition shade start to blend it right up into you know don't come all the way up into your brow bone try to keep your brow bone you know clear of color okay so if you're drawing a line from here to here you want to keep that area clear of color so try and draw your an imaginary line from there to there because this is just a transition shade that we're creating so i'm actually if you can see i'm bringing that transition shade right up to that on the outside edge my my eyebrow okay but i'm blending it as i bring it okay
and I'm just pulling, not adding any more color onto the brush. I'm just using the product that's already on the brush head and what's already into the socket line. You see how I'm bringing that right down into like that and you do want a transition color there so now we'll be getting into some darker shades showing you how to create that smoky eye now with a um, fairly small angled very narrow brush and this is out of the BH cosmetics um, polka dot brush set we're gonna be getting into um, the darkest shade on this in this palette right here which is the triple fudge shade. That's the shade that we're gonna actually be creating our smoky outer edge of the eye look. So I'm gonna be picking this up just right on the edge of the brush, okay? And picking that just right up like that. And then we're gonna be dropping this right in here, okay? And we're gonna be taking that up just a bit right past our socket line, just like that. See that? Same thing on the other side. And I'm, you see I'm using a padding motion with that. And I'm going to go ahead and bring that on down to the bottom lash line. Because remember, this is a smoky eye we're looking, we're looking to create here. I'm just picking up a little bit more product. And I like to stick to this rule of thumb for me because I'm older with crepey eyelids. I don't want to bring this color past the center of my, my cornea. So I will stop right at the center of my cornea and not bring it into that inner tear duct area. And then I'll show you a technique that I will use so that I don't look like I have raccoon eyes. <laughs> because that, that's not pretty. Okay, so I'm picking up just a tad bit more color coming back in here and I'm patting this in now right into that socket line. Okay, same with the other side. Right into that socket line. And let, your, let the angle of the brush actually work for you, okay? Pat it in, and as you get towards the center of your, your eye, you're going to start to narrow that, that color down so it, it actually angles into your tear duct area. <laughs> so as you bring that down into the socket line, you want to get right into, right into that socket line. Bring it on into the tear duct area, and then just use the angle of your brush to go ahead and pull that color a little bit onto the lid, all right? Just like that. Don't worry about it being perfect because this is a smoky eye that we're creating, and we are going to take out any of the rough edges as we go. So I'm going to go ahead and get this other eye caught up and I'll be right back. Okay, now to help smoky this out, I'm going to be grabbing a small blending brush. This is also from the pink polka dot set and we're going to be getting into this hard candy eyeshadow palette. And as you're looking at this palette, this being the lightest shade in the palette, we're going to come one, two, three, the third color over and just load up some of that color right on the end of the brush. And we're going to go ahead and pat this right into that outer edge 
of that shade there. That darkest shade from the chocolate bar palette. Both sides, outer edge. You're actually gonna be like marrying these two colors together. And yes, this is a bit of a shimmery shade. So now we're gonna work it, blending that up to create that smoky effect and coming in towards the center. Because I want this look to actually have some very defined outer edges, I'm going to be picking up my small angled brush again that I used before, getting back into this darkest shade which is the triple fudge and I'm actually going to be loading up the size of the brushes this time, just giving a little push into the shades and then I'm actually going to be dragging some of this from the outer eyelid into this outer third. Just like that right there and the other side to match go ahead and get into that socket line don't worry about that we're gonna save that inner third or that inner center of our eye for that green color that I want to use as a pop. So I'm going to leave that. We're going to leave that um, in the center open. Now I'm going to come back into the tear duct area and pull a little bit more of that dark shade over. getting back into our hard candy palette. Now with a medium size flat shader brush, I'm gonna be picking up, if you're looking at this um, green with envy palette, it's gonna be the darkest green in here. If you see that, it's the second from this side, not the lightest shades over here, but over here. Okay, so the second shade in. And this color is almost like, um, it's a real, deep green, almost like it's a little darker than a hunter green. I, I don't really know how to explain it real good, but we're going to be loading up the brush and we're going to be popping that right into the center there. Just like that. So it blends into the brownish color on the outside. Just like that. Now for some smudging along the bottom, we're going to be getting into a little bit lighter shade of brown so that we can blend it out a little bit. Okay, so grabbing a medium sized pencil brush, this is the e.l.f. pencil brush. I'm going to be getting into this shade right here from the um, chocolate bar palette. I'm not sure what shade that is, but yeah, next to the problem one highlight. So I'm going to be picking some of that up on the edge of my brush here, and I'm just going to kind of 
pat that in and drag it underneath and start to bring some of that out here. And just keep working at it till you get it really blended good and get those rough outer edges out. Just keep working it with your pencil brush. And this is the part that takes the most time. So I'm going to finish smudging this out and then I'll come back. Okay, so after you've blended everything and taken all of the sharp edges out, it should look something like this. <laughs> now I'm going to go ahead and put on my eyeliner and mascara and give you the finish. In order for you to get a really defined under eye look, what I do for a smoky eye if I'm going for this type of a look is I will use a black eyeliner from the outer corner to the center of my iris. And then to do from the center of my iris to the tear duct, I will use a brown shade. So um, I don't want to use just black all the way across there because I think that's a little too harsh for me. Um, if it works for you, that's great. But th this is what I do. So Okay, so I'm going to continue to finish up here. And so then here's the back. finished look, guys, with false eyelashes in the whole nine yards. If you like this look, by all means, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment bar but down below. And if you're interested in the products that I used to achieve this whole look, which I know I outdid myself on the lips, it's my understanding that you're not supposed to make your lips and eyes really exciting, but I don't follow rules. <laughs> At any rate, all the products that I use, rather than be listed down below, they'll be at the end of this video. So if you're interested, by all means, stay tuned. Continue watching to the end of the video and you'll see all of the um, products that I use to create this look. Thanks for watching, guys. Toodles!
today. You like it? I did it just for you. Oh, boy. Let's